Yeah, I just picked up this 2007 zero turn mower. It was in a fire. And I'm still trying to figure out where it started from. But a few of the things that I've noticed right off the bat that will need to be addressed. So these two wires go down to the PTO. Those got fried. They go across. I think I got lucky on the choke and the throttle cables. They only got melted plastic on them, so those will be able to be salvaged. On this side here, all the wires that go to the electrical harness were untouched. I really expected to have a, a rat nest to have to rewire over here, but it's nothing. It's, it's a joke. Um, just give me a second here, I'll lower the table down and we can get a better look. Yeah, the machine is physically remarkably good shape for being t almost, well, 2007. Another three years will be 20 years old, right? Four years. But all the plastic on the top got melted. Uh, spark plug co cable, that's all you can see there was the, the inner layer of the spark plug. I did take the cap off on the reservoir. The oil looks good. I just have to get a new cap. But yeah, I was worried about all these wires here. They were untouched. Uh, obviously, it took out the air filter, but I'm not going to use that anyways. And the top part of the bagging system. I don't know if I can fabricate something like that or not. I don't know. Maybe I could do it out of aluminum. Could be a challenge. Yeah, I'll pop that engine out. I've got another machine uh, engine sitting on the shelf, so that'll be straightforward. Uh, oil looks great. Person had it, took great care of it. I mean, the deck has very little corrosion. The person must have been great about blowing it off when they got done using it. I mean, geez, every label looks like it's never seen the sunlight. I'm not used to that. <laughs> Oh, of course, I'll need a battery. That must have... But the owner said it was in his trailer and it wouldn't start. And then he went inside. I don't recall if he told me why he went into the house or not, but he came out. It was on fire. He immediately closed the doors on the trailer and called the fire department. So I don't know beyond that. Did he have a charger on the battery? Did he shorted out a battery? But I don't, I don't see anything wrong with the cables. I don't even see anything wrong with the starter. The starter looks perfect. You can see the connections down there for the negative or the positive. The, the solenoid doesn't have any, any any evidence of arcing. I don't know what caused it. Yeah, this is gonna be a fun project. Might be a little more messy than I'm used to with the charcoal, but yeah, I get dirty anyways. Anyways, yeah, let's have fun. I'll keep you guys posted. Thanks.